Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm going to be bringing you a table centrepiece uh, for your dining table, a long and low. Um, I have talked about it previous on, on I know, in fact I, I even showed you my last year's um, centrepiece, my long and low, um, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So uh, to, the, to the table I've brought an abundance of stuff, however I feel that, uh, that I may be missing something, uh, and in which case it will be down my petal shed so I'll have to buzz off. I hope you're doing really well guys and uh, hope you're all keeping safe. Um, Monday, a fresh new week and uh, I, I think I'm quite, hopefully, because yesterday I felt a bit rotten. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the ingredient. Oh, what I wanted to tell you guys was, you know, the um, wreath that I did on Friday's video. Uh, the fresh wreath well during the course of that video and me attaching the bow I was like oh what am I thinking here now guys you know with the ribbon tails um, and I just went with what I was feeling at the time however I then you know doing rewinds in my head and thought no I could have done something a little better with that so what I did was I'm going to slip a photo in now. And so all I did was added an extra tail, literally pinned it in, went under the under the bow, pinned it in at the top, um, separated the two end tails because they were on top of each other, weren't they? Uh, the red was on top of the uh, pine cone um, tail. So separated them, I did an extra tail and um, did my my fancy schmancy stuff with it. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it is now. And I know it's covering quite uh, a lot of, uh, um, but uh, as you can see on camera, but you know, when you're looking at it in person, it's it's still a beauty, it's, it's a beauty. Um, and I'm getting quite a lot of good feedback on it. Not not on on uh, YouTube. Well, of course I am on YouTube, but also you know within my community. So that's wonderful. Um, so yeah. So let's get back on with this. So we're going to be doing a long and low. So what I've got is I've got um, a tray, an oasis tray, and it fits one block, as you can see, one block of dry oasis it can fit one block of wet oasis what i would say though if you were you if you were going to use uh wet i would trim uh, a couple of centimeters off each end so that you've got a well uh to pour water into to keep your oasis uh nice and wet you know um during the festive period and it obviously it keeps your flowers fresher for longer if you were using fresh um however i'm using artificial today i have done fresh and i absolutely love fresh i don't work in fresh very often um because of the cost and it doesn't obviously you know it, they don't last forever so i tend to lean towards the artificial these days but i really do love fresh <clears throat> that's that's where I, you know, that's that's me. I love it. So uh, to frame my, <laughs> sorry about that. To frame my <clears throat> and make my shape. Uh, you, you know, for the long and low, I'm going to be using this. Now I love this. It's a fern. I think it may be called a Boston fern. Um, so I've got a couple of bunches of this. I might not use all of it. So that's going to create my frame, you know, my shape. And that's what you need to do straight away. You need to go in, create your shape, your outline and, and know what you what you're working towards when you start placing your, your flowers. So so I've got that that what I'm going to call Boston Fern. I've got some ivy. Uh, isn't it? This that that's still wrapped up, but I've got some ivy now. This is uh, this will be broken up. 
Now I really wanted to use this one, but I only have one of that. So I'm going to see how this goes. Um, you'll see as we go on where I want to add this ivy and how I want it to the overall look. So it might be uh, the variegated or it might just be the, the normal, but this, this has, has got kind of like a, not a glaze, uh, it's muted. Can you see? It's, uh, it's not frosted either, but along that line, I've got some, um, eucalyptus, frosted eucalyptus. I've also got some spruce, artificial spruce. Um, I've also got some of this. I love this stuff for, for, for winter. Um, can you see? I had this in my in my last year's one as well. I don't want to be overdoing it. Uh, however, I do want lots of different textures in there, lots of different contrasts in in foliage, and um, you know I want to try and make it look as as authentic as possible. You know, as real as possible. Have I showed you these? I've got these beautiful deep red. Uh, they are, to me, burgundy, deep red, claret, I don't know, but absolutely stunning. Beautiful these are. And they almost have like a velvety feel to them. And in this bunch, I have got uh, buds, which is ideal for this, uh, for this shape. Uh, and I've also got your, your, big, your big blooms. I have also brought to the table these uh i love these um frosted um flocked flocked and frosted actually uh christmas roses i am going to add some pine cones um i have an abundance of stuff you know i might add some cinnamon you know to give it that aroma um and i have this candle now this candle's bashed up i bought this from home bargains 99 pence uh, but as I took it out of the wrapper, this is what I'm seeing, you know, these. Now, it doesn't matter for me because it, nothing has to be perfect for me. I'm just me. Uh, however, if you if it was for commercial use, then you would need to make sure it's perfect for your customer, wouldn't you? Um, now, I love this. It goes perfectly well with these. However, if I feel that that is too dark, you know, um, can you see these here? I may go for one of those and just have odd up there uh, because they're they're red. You know, they are Christmas red. This is like the burgundy. But we're going to see how that plays out. So we're seven minutes in and, and I'm going to start making a move now. But we're probably even longer in because I put the photograph in, so apologies. Right, so first of all, I'm going to add my candle, okay? I really wished I'd have brought my turntable up here as well. I've got two, one in the loft, one down the petal shed. If I have to go down the petal shed, I may bring that one up because I'll be turning this this arrangement, um, you know, to, to... You want to see it at all angles, of course, because it's not front-facing, um you know it's a uh, it's because it's going on a dining table so you know you, you people across you you know your guests across the table or you know your family um will be seeing the pretty side just as much as you'll be seeing the pretty side so yeah okay so i've got my block of oasis and i've squished it down into there now i don't know whether to take that i think i might because the candle's very heavy because even though it's nice, snug and secure in there, it may quite possibly 
with the weight of that candle and then the flowers and foliage it may uh, come out during storage that is not not while it's on your table that's not going to happen obviously because it's flat on your table uh, so I've got some anchor tape it's not very it's not very thick anchor tape this either this is really sticky stuff so I'm going to tip you down and all I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor this in I'm just going to give it just a couple of now that shouldn't go anywhere really and I could put one across there however and I would I would if it was for if it was for commercial use however it's just for me and it's me that's, uh, I can see my hair needing to go up because I'm hot. So if I have to buzz off, forgive me. Uh, so yeah, that'll do. But you could go across there or you could go another two times there. Uh, depending, you know, on, on what it's for really. But it's for my purpose. So then I've got my candle and I've put it into a candle um, holder it's got spikes on the bottom and they're gonna go in into the into the oasis in the center um, and nothing's gonna move them I could glue this if I wanted to I don't want to um, and you don't have to have one of these you could as simple as tape let me show you you could get your tape uh, any any tape or even glue mm, actually cold glue not hot glue uh, because obviously it'd melt your candle um, and you could get bamboo sticks or cocktail sticks space them sporadically through across the, for the length of your for the diameter of your your candle wrap it around the base and then you've got your little spikes attached to it um, and then you just place it in so I'm going to tip you down and we're going to place this candle in so we want the center So this is your focal point and we're going to come out um, and out. We're not going, wh what we're going to do is we're going to create a diamond shape um, with our, with our Boston Fern. And I love doing these arrangements, guys. They are my favourites to do. So we're going to create a diamond shape. So longer length ways, shorter width ways. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to let this do the talking. Hope you can see. So I uh, just need my wire pictures, guys, sorry. So I'm going to trim this down. And I'm going in. Space. 
so you go in you know the full length of that fern my uh, I'm, I'm now going to go in here in in these pieces here and these aren't going to be needed as long as these because otherwise you're creating a square so I think to about there don't worry about um, don't worry about these pieces because you've got a lot of filling in to do this is a large area some people would bevel um, those and I might actually I should have done that beforehand uh, just giving you that extra space to um, to work with So can you see, if you go from each tip to tip, you're doing a diamond, okay? Diamond shape. And then in between of that, you're gonna fill in these, you're gonna fill in these gaps here. You want enough stem, you know, you want to, to give yourself enough stem to go right in. I'm not going to use it, I want the points all the way. And if you wanted to glue this in, guys, you could do. I'm not because it's just for me. Another couple of pieces there and then we'll move up to the top. Excuse my silence guys and I don't really want to rush this part because if you wanted to get the gist of it you're gonna you're gonna want to watch it and I don't want to cut you off if you you know for those of you that are um not rushing to get to the end result so so we've created can you see whoops and see that candle is stayed secure, but do you see how top heavy it is? Um, that's why I taped it in. So we've created, a, can you see, this, oh, this triangle shape. Any gaps down here, don't worry about because literally we're going in with more foliage. Now I'm gonna start, uh, actually, I'm, I'm coming into my second layer. Do you know what? I think I need another bunch. So all I'm doing, guys, in fact, I think that's too short. I think I might need to go to the petal shed and get another bunch of this. So I'm just going up one and shorter, if you can see. 
can you see and then i'm going to start using this because uh i'm not wasting it because you've already created your shape so you know it's not it's not uh necessary for you to for you to have that definition Basically, you're covering your mechanics now. You're filling in your oasis. But I still think I may need another bunch of this. gaps so that I'm not going to get another bunch folks because I'm going to clear this table low because otherwise I'll not, I'll not see where I'm up to if I've got lots of green around me so can you see what we've done so far hang on Can you see you created this wonderful diamond shape uh, nice and long um, and the general consensus guys so that you can so that you can um, judge it is it's too I want to get this right Say it's you're working in thirds, so your container is one third, your 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 arrangement is two thirds, and that's the general consensus. So we're pretty bang on with this. Can you see? And it's the same my side as it is your side. Um, but we've still we've still some way to go. very sweaty today hot flushes and hot drinks don't help look at my hair now <laughs> kinky right so I'm going to start adding some more greenery and I think I'm definitely going to add my my um, ivy I just want to see yeah, I think this ivy, actually, let's see, let's see how they look together. Oh, can't make my mind up now, folks. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go this variegated, you know. So I'm just going to cut some nice pieces off. Sorry, folks, I'm at the side. I'm pretty sure you know how to cut some ivy. So, I need to.
kind of wants to stick up and I don't want it. That's not the effect I want. So that'll do, I eh? like that. That's the beauty as well of, of doing um, artificial. You take out, put it in as many times as you like. However, if, you, if it was fresh, and you went back in the same hole, would you, you know, there'd be an airlock. Um, and then that's it, your flower isn't getting the, the, the water. So you have to then create a new hole. And if you just do it too many times, then it's gonna become crumbly and useless. A little bit more ivy. And I think quite possibly a little bit there too. And uh, I think down because it looks a little unsightly. I'll just check to see if this was still recording. Right guys, what I'm going to do um, this is how far we're at now but I can see we are really far on already in the video. So can you see, point it down and show you. So lovely shape, we're filling it in quite nicely. Um, so I, listen, what I'm gonna do, because I'm very aware of this time and I hate to, I hate to keep you, because sometimes, you know, I get complaints that, you know, and sometimes, you know, uh, I like to keep everyone happy, so I'm going to buzz off. I'm going to add some more greenery to this. I think I might add some blue spruce. Um, and then we're going to start add, adding the flowers, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I've got quite a lot of greens in here now. Can you see? This would be, this would be ideal and absolutely lovely if you just had greens in it. Obviously, there's still... A fair amount of your mechanics <coughs> showing but you're going to fill it with flowers and then you're going to fill in you know you, you're filling in stuff so we've got a lovely shape can you see lovely lovely diamond shape and now we're going to start adding the flowers guys You know, I just love these arrangements. Beautiful um, centerpieces for tables. And if you wanted to go larger, you could do a double tray uh, or you could do three bricks in a double tray, you know, so it was three, but, but you, yeah, in effect, you'd be covering your tray anyway. So you could go larger. Uh, if you wanted to go smaller, you could bring it in, you say two thirds of a brick um in a smaller in a smaller tray um it, it's entirely up to you so long as you get your shape you need that outline you need that shape you know now i will just say this you know i'm renowned uh on here for holding my things up to the mirror and i do it with hand tied bouquets i do it with my wreaths 
However, this one <laughs> is a different technique. I like to put it on the floor, stand above it, look down on it um, to look at my shape, my outline, my, you know, my overall filling in what it looks like from the top you know and i've had it on the floor a couple of times and it and it's it's absolutely lovely um i've added i didn't add the blue spruce i'll tell you for why i didn't particularly care for it i'll put it back i didn't care for the stem that it <laughs> not the actual blue spruce but the stem i didn't care for it so this is what i've got so far You know, it's just lovely, isn't it? So um, we're going to start adding the roses. So I hope you can see. I'm going with my buds first. I'm just going to check that size needs to come in a tiny bit. I don't like to cut these guys because they've got a plastic coating on a quite a spiky stem and sometimes that when you cut it that plastic coating doesn't like going in the in the oasis. So I'm going in over the top of that um Oh, you can't even see over the top of this eryngium that I placed in because I wanted to give it some some definition and I got carried away so I added some eryngium on each end now another bud I've told you this before guys about your, your roses Ro you know or anything in nature has a face so look at the face. I'm not happy with this. Not happy with that at all. So let's see if I can do something with it. However, this is perfect. Everything in nature has a face. So you look at the face of the of the flower and you place it accordingly. So I'm going in with this pretty bud here. Just a tiny bit off the end. And I'm going over the top of that, this eryngium here. And I want it to kind of face down. So that's exactly what it's doing. Now, I'm going to come in now with some of the blooms. see and you're coming in just a little bit shorter than your first rows and then your eryngium you know you're graduating in so I've got that one at what, that whew, can't speak got one that end and I'm going in this end now Again, coming in. But can you see how you're, you were going definitely out, you were coming slightly up, and now you're coming even further up on, you know, with your rose face coming up. And again, with this side. And what you want to do as well, guys, is is literally um, you don't need to be in a straight line. You know, I'm going a little bit skew with 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 it, but it's within with within a line. If you can see what I'm 
what I'm getting at. So, you know, I think that needs to come down a li little bit, like so. And then, I'm going to come here. See, I've put that and that plastic just does not like uh, the, and then I'm going to come in with a bud. Down here, can you see? Here. Beautiful these roses guys aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. See that I need to put that on the floor, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Yeah, it's 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 filming. I don't know what you can see. So I just adjusted that rose. It's always good to to put it on the floor and have a good look. So now I'm going to go in with these, and these aren't nowhere near as long, so. I may have to rethink and just go back down the petal shed and go all roses. Because I have got another bunch of these. See, and they're quite small as well, aren't they? I just wonder if I could, if I could maybe bunch a couple there. Yeah, I could. I don't know if I like it, guys. Let me see. Carry on.
right. Uh, that's the thing with with um it's so stiff that you just they have a life of their own don't they It's not needed. Right. And I think I'm going to use these rosebuds up. I keep checking the time. And then I'm just going to start, I'm going to look on the, I'm just going to put it down guys. It is lovely, I feel as if those, they're not, of course they're not, and I've got quite a nice line of them, but I feel as if these are uh, totally different and need something to bring them both together. Do you know what I mean? Which actually could quite possibly be this. Because <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's quite a deep, a deep red and this isn't quite a contrast isn't it right I'm going to just crack on and I may just add some of these folks because I've got all my placements of my flowers and now it really is lightening the palette and because it is very dark lightening the palette and um, filling in this isn't very good this this year the wires are very thin right guys so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to buzz off, I'm going to fill in with this and I'm going to come back. Can you see that, what I've just added? So that's all I'm doing. So I'll go off, I'll fill in and I'll come back. <clears throat> I'm back. So filled in, and I know I will be sitting, and I know you know, and you know <laughs> that I will be sitting, and I will be tweaking probably even on Christmas Day when I'm on my dinner. Uh, I can see just a few. A few discrepancies guys I'm gonna put it on the floor to show you but this is what we've got it's absolutely beautiful natural what I do think is these flowers here I might change them out and just make them either all red or even I could put a little bit of flocking across couldn't I you know with my flocking kit uh, haven't decided 
because you know everywhere is quite a snowy winterland scene. I wanted this to tie in with my tree, my, my, my fireplace garland, this behind me, even my hall garland. I wanted it all to be cohesive so and also I've got something quite spectacular that's going on top of the table and this will go on top of that. Um, not when we're eating our dinner, I've said it before, but I want to get this table sorted out. I mean, one of the things I'm going to have to do, guys, is because um, uh, my, my head's in a tumble. I don't know which way to bring it to you because obviously you want to see the f finished results of what I've been doing, don't you? I did some more. I hung my beautiful big wreath uh, yesterday when well, my partner did and I hung something over there yesterday and I do want to show you my stair garland and the nutcracker tree um, but I want to do it when I've got my table kind of semi set it's not um, you know I don't mean in the dining sense I mean you know to how I but then when I do that you know it's got to come off uh, because this is where I sit to do my um, to do my videos to bring you and you know we've still got a, a few weeks left to Christmas and we've still got a few I've still got a few uh, things that I'd like to show you so now I was going to have three wreaths coming down this table with three of those hurricane lamps in them and you know I think the idea is absolutely wonderful but then you know a long and low the purpose of a long and low is so that you know when you're sitting at the table and you're having a conversation you can have that conversation you're not having to dodge anything whereas if I had those hurricane lamps which are quite big uh, in the in the reeds then I'm guessing that they would become quite obstructive so I've, I'm opting for this this is what will be on my dining table I hope you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on the let me know what you think about these these uh, frosted uh, Christmas roses I love the depth of that of that red rose absolutely love it don't you Oh, what I did was I put some berries in, I put some of this in, um, not a great deal, can you see, it is lovely, oh and I put some um, cinnamon sticks and pine cones, so I did a, a, almost a row, so they, cut, they start there, they come over to there. Um, but I think it's absolutely lovely. Like I say, I will sit, I will look, and um, you know, I'll see how I feel about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know how long it's going to be, and I, I'm really worried, you know, because some people like it, some people don't, and. Uh, but what can you do if, you, if you're showing people how to do something? You can't just do it all on speed. You can't just do it, you know, it, it would be silly to do that because you're not getting the gist. Have you seen how fast they go, those time-lapse videos? You just, all you'd see, literally, is, is it being made and then it finished. But you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have that, um, you know, the information that I'm trying to put across to you in and not only I'm one of those people it depends what type of learner you are doesn't it and um, I'm one of those people that needs to be shown you know told and shown if somebody just told me then no if somebody just showed me then no but if if they tell me while they're showing me then I can I can do it you know I'm one of those learners there's that game isn't the Kim's is it called Kim's game and it determines what kind of learner you are where there's things on the tray uh, they take the cloth off the tray, you look at all the things that you, some people pick them up, touch them, you know, it's how you, and then they cover the tray and you have to guess what's on the tree, you know, you have to remember what's on the tree, but it, 
depends on what you were, were you a tactile learner? Did you have to pick it up, look at it? Do you know what I mean? Am I talking rubbish? <laughs> I don't think I am. I know that I've played that game uh, when I did my um, GCSE uh, English. Um, and I didn't do that till I was 38. Um, so yeah, I have played that game, Kim's game, I'm sure it's called. And it just determines what type of learner you are. So anyway, I'm really happy with this. I love these flowers. I'm glad I've been able to bring it to you. You know, it's got pine cones, it's got cinnamon, it's got berries, it's got beautiful red roses, it's got, whoops, battery, Christmas roses, it's got ferns, it's got ivy, it's got nature. Uh, it's got a little bit of frosting, frosted twigs. You know, it's got a candle, which won't be, I won't light it. I might just for 10 minutes. But I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to take you off, take you off the stand, turn you around and uh, put this on the floor and then you can see it from the, uh, from the bird's eye view, okay? Be right back. Excuse my floor, guys. It's where I've been, just, just been working. And that in that bag is a bag of presents. So, can you see the shape? It's like a diamond shape, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? I could say, they definitely need adjusting, if not taking out. I absolutely love it. Very nice. You know, it's as nice as one side as it is the other side, one end to the other end. Beautiful. Excuse my bars. <laughs> uh, black socks and blingies. Um, and the broken blingy uh, slider. <laughs> That's because I've just been down the petal shed. How attractive. Right, okay, go back to the table. Did you like that then? <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what you look like up here, does it? It's what you've got. <laughs> so I've got my blingy Primark sliders that are broken. You know, the comfiest sliders I've ever had in my life. Well, broken, got marks on them, but I love them. They're so comfy. Um, with my black socks, how attractive. Right, so that's it for today, guys. Finished, finished. Quite happy with that, quite happy with what I brought you. If I change it, I will show you. I could say I wanted to adjust those, didn't I? Oh, can you hear all the geese? Loads of them. Loads. They're all flying off now. And then they come back in spring and it's lovely to hear them come back. We've got some woods there and we've got a, a big park, a big National Trust Park. We've also with a big lake and stuff and then we've also got a smaller lake that is the entail of that big lake onto a you know a play park and a and a lovely place where you walk across to get into the town and that's where they're coming from so I think that was that they'll be off so yeah so a little bit disjointed and all over the place this video no doubt but what's new it wouldn't be the same would it and there we go so I hope you like it guys I hope you you know it's encouraged you to Give it a little go, a little bit of inspiration. Um, because they are super lovely to have on your, on your dining table. I will, you know, I'll be more than happy to, to be sitting with this on my dining table come Christmas day. Uh, nice and long, this is a six foot table, you know, um, 
and it'll do just the ticket. I may have something either side, which I'll just show you. I've got these two pots. And I know there's no gold in that, so I may rethink it actually. Uh, I've got these, these two little pots that I'm gonna fill uh, with a couple of arrangements. Now, it, they were, uh, <laughs> but I will have gold on my table. So what I might do is have something there, either side, in these pots of this uh, centerpiece, because I'm having gold and uh, gold. Go, I've got a couple of gold crackers. I've got uh, silver crackers. Um, you know, because I've got metallics, red and white in my tree. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to do and create here at the back of the table but as I say you know um I do do a lot at my table as you know in fact I do everything at my table until I've sort, sorted my petal shed out and you know I wouldn't do anything down there at the moment anyway because it's cold um so you know once um I've decorated the table really I don't really want to keep undoing it to decorate it undo it um so I'm gonna have to work that one out and how to bring that to you because it's it is um you will think i've gone over the top with it but that's me so i hope you enjoyed it hope you took taken some inspiration from it hope you're all really really well and uh, i hope this video isn't too you know and i hope you've you, you know you enjoy this do do let me know in the comments um i think it's lovely there's a lot in there in there and um, give a go making yourself, making yourself one, you know. And can you imagine, now I've done these in fresh and they are absolutely stunning. So the, could you imagine the aroma coming from them, you know, um, the pine and stuff. Absolutely amazing. So anyway guys, um, that's it for this one. And I'll see you all again soon might be sooner than usual and because I have got a few things to do um, and you all take care and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, thank you for watching.